Yo, how's it going, Yankees fans? This is Felix from M1Wineews.com. All I can with stars, para los fanáticos de los Yankees de Nueva York. So, listen, I gotta hop on real quick. If you hear traffic behind me. But anyways, busy streets of Manhattan. I gotta jump on real quick to address some fever-pitched trade proposals that are insane, just insane, by writers. I mean, I love... Joel Sherman of the NY Post, but um, he just recently wrote a ridiculous article, which I will outline in a second. Again, the NY Daily News wrote a ridiculous piece about how the Yankees could potentially sign Hugh Darvish. And in this article, John Harper of the NY Daily News said that practically just give Ellsbury away by including a Clint Frazier. And then today I saw the news break that Andrew McCutcheon is going to play left or right field for the Giants, which means that the Giants are still looking for a center fielder. Yet again, this article has grown legs again. This has been one of the most ridiculous trade proposals that I've seen this offseason. The NY Daily News is always pushing trades that uh, make no sense for the Yankees. I mean... They were the first ones to say Sonny Gray to the Yankees. They were pushing for Gary Cole for the Yankees farm system to be completely depleted. And we all know what the Astros gave for Gary Cole. Imagine the Yankees and what they offered. Way better players than what the Astros got or the Pirates got in return for Gary Cole. So, again... This writer saying practically give away Clint Frazier for practically nothing. Uh, ben Gamble, another player that had potential that if it was any other time, if Ellsbury wasn't clogging up outfield space or Brett Gardner at that fact, Ben Gamble would have been a legit bench player, utility man coming off the bench for the Yankees. But as you see now, he's with the Seattle Mariners and He's putting up legit numbers. He's a player, let's put it like this, he's a player that the Mariners are happy they got. So, again, they want to do the same mistake with Clint Frazier, who's projected to be a way better player than Ben Gamble. Clint Frazier has not gotten any respect this offseason. He's like Rodney Dangerfield. I mean, where is the respect, though, for Clint Frazier? I see it nowhere. Like I said, I prefer the Yankees shipping off Brett Gardner somewhere and giving Clint Frazier the opportunity to show everybody that he's legit and will literally be better than Brett Gardner. I mean, Brett Gardner's turning 35. I mean, come on. People talk about prospect hugging, but really, Brett Gardner? I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to pick between Clint Frazier and Brett Gardner. So... The Giants, looking for a center fielder. This article by Joan Harper of the NY Daily News is picking up steam again. And delusional Yankee fans, I'm sorry to say this, are going along with it. They are practically saying that the Giants would literally get Ellsbury without anything. They, they just said Ellsbury and just take him. This doesn't make sense because there's a lot of free agents left on the market. And people said, oh, if they sign Kane, they lose out on a draft pick or whatever. I mean, really? The Kane versus Ellsbury, you're going to pay the same amount of money. You'd rather pick an Ellsbury than a Kane. Kane is a perfect fit, to be honest with you, with the San Francisco Giants. And also, Brett Gardner is even more of a perfect fit for a team like the Giants. He fits more perfectly with the Giants than Ellsbury does. So, to another crackpot article, I mean, they're coming in droves this week. Joe Sherman of the NY Post recently wrote an article today stating or outlining a trade proposal via the Rockies and the Yankees for Ian Desmond and in return, the Yankees ship off Ellsbury. This is what he wrote. He said, why would the Rockies do it? Desmond was a miscast disaster at first base after signing a five-year, 
70 million dollar deal last year outside executives believe colorado will ultimately sign someone else to play first so this is why this trade proposal sounds ridiculous in the first place because you're saying that the yankees should pick up ian desmond right he had some legit years but ellsbury's not gonna waive his no trade clause to go to colorado i mean that's laughable the only place he will do it certified fact is with the arizona diamondbacks i see all these articles about the yankees should do this and that and they're avoiding the yankees real trade partner which is the arizona diamondbacks so you got to ask yourself this question why aren't mainstream websites like the ny post ny flopping daily news picking up stories about the Yankees possibly dealing with the Diamondbacks. Oh, I know, because they'll send traffic to sites like Mines, nynews.com, and channels like the Salmonetti Report. I mean, these guys never give credit when it's due. They're avoiding the Diamondbacks and Yankees like the plague when they're the only teams that logically fit together to make trades. The Diamondbacks are looking for a closer. They're looking for players to boost their chances in going deep into the playoffs, just like the Yankees. The only way you deal with the Diamondbacks is a three-way trade with the O's. So like I said, they're avoiding that like the plague. I don't know why they should be talking about it. Like I said, the only places you're going to hear about any trade possibilities with the Diamondbacks, with the O's is websites like nyynews.com and YouTube channels and Twitters like the Salmonetti Report. So yeah, that just boggles my mind that it's been out there for quite a while now, these trade possibilities, and it just makes sense. It makes sense. The Diamondbacks need a closer. The Yankees are stacked with closers. The Yankees are trying to free up salary space. You will free up double the salary space by shipping out an Ellsbury and a Robertson to the Diamondbacks. I mean, perfect logical sense. You get a U Darvish, or if you want to save money, get Corbin back in return, period. I mean, any way you slice it, the Yankees win trading with the Diamondbacks. So very logical. I don't know why it's not being talked about, but like I said, Hey, this is why you're subbed to channels like this, like the Salmonetti Report, etc. Because even though some people don't believe us, we have a track record, which is pretty good in forecasting future signings and future trades. So stay tuned. So this has been Felix from NYNews.com. I will check you out later.